start yelling at the production. Bro. Okay, so I think we're all here. Um, so we're all uh, writers and editors of Mid-Atlantic Media's publications here. Um, Mid-Atlantic Media owns uh, the Jewish Exponent in Philadelphia, Washington Jewish Week in DC, and the Baltimore Jewish Times in Baltimore. Um, so let's just go around the room um, and say what our names are and uh, you know maybe like kind of where we're based. And also our familiarity with some of the different classic Passover desserts we're going to be trying today. Mm -hmm. um, I can go first and then we'll we'll jump over to our um, Philly people. Um, so my name is Selamaya. I'm the editor of the Baltimore Jewish Times. Um, I would say I'm like highly familiar with many of the desserts we're trying today. Um, Exponent of people, you guys want to go next? Sasha, you want to start? Yeah. Um, I am Sasha. I'm a reporter for the Jewish Exponent in Philadelphia, and I am a Mondel bread loyalist and Passover dessert skeptic. My name is Jared. I'm with the Jewish Exponent in Philadelphia as well. Um, I don't think I really have a favorite Passover dessert, you know, because Passover is a holiday where you're restricted. So, uh, we'll see. We'll learn today. And I am Andy Gottlieb. I am the editor at the Exponent, and uh, I have some familiarity with Passover desserts, although an oldie but goodie is simply uh, lots of dipped in a little bit of chocolate which we don't have here today. Okay, I guess uh, I'll go. Uh, I'm Jesse Berman. I'm uh, with the JT down here at the Owens Mills office. And uh, uh, I don't know, uh, first someone said Passover dessert, first thing came to mind is uh, my grandmother's regula. I don't think that's kosher for Passover, so I don't really know. <laughs> um, Lenika, do you wanna go next? And then Lindsay, introduce yourself. Sure. Hi, everyone. I'm Lanika. I, I was working out of the Rockville office before we had left there. Um, I'm a lifestyle writer, predominantly writing for Montgomery Magazine, as well as Washington Jewish Week. I called him, you know, Lindsay? Yeah, I'm Lindsay. Hi, I'm Lindsay. Um, I'm also out of the um, Baltimore Owings Mills office, and I'm a lifestyle writer. Um, mostly writing for um, Baltimore's Child, Washington Family, and um, Baltimore Style Magazine. And I'd have to say I'm pretty unfamiliar probably with most of these Passover treats. So I'm excited to get started and try some of them. Okay. So I know like the uh, people in Philly and the people in DC and Baltimore have, oh, there's some differences between the different treats we'll be trying today. But um, I think Jared, do you wanna like take us through and uh, I guess, kind of guide us in which treats we're trying first. All right, so we got here the Manischewitz uh, marshmallow or toasted coconut marshmallows. That's, that's one. And we got uh, the lemon raspberry roll. The uh, classic marshmallow chocolate covered twist. Um, the gel rings chocolate covered as well. Same brand. Um, and the next is the sugar loaf or sugar free sponge loaf. Um, and then we have the seven layer cake. Finally, the chocolate macaroons and coconut macaroons. Quite a bit of dessert. Yeah, so we definitely have some substitutions with brands and stuff. Um, which should we try first, Jared? And then I'll just score what you're doing. 
Uh, why don't we try these? Toasted coconut marshmallows. We'll start from. Uh, um, so we have toasted marshmallows too, but we got them from Granny's brand um, instead of uh, your guys' brand. So. Uh, Okay. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. It's good flavor. What do you, got, what do you guys think? Yeah. And it tastes like a coconut, a marshmallow with coconut on it. Yeah. yeah. You like marshmallow, you like coconut. It's good. It's not too sticky. Yeah. And I love toasted coconut. So it's a win. Sasha said they're better than she expected. I agree. Yeah. I agree with that. Like, um, I don't have high expectations for a kosher Passover marshmallow, but it really tastes like a marshmallow. Um, yeah. <laughs> These are only 17 calories a piece. <laughs> Watching their weight. All right, let's do the, uh, the lemon raspberry roll next. Um, so we don't have a last uh, lemon raspberry roll here. Instead, I got for the Baltimore DC people. The yeah, classic, classic <laughs> jelly slices um, from uh, Manischewitz. And uh, people who are familiar know that each color is a different flavor. Mm. So why don't the Philly people, why don't you try your thing first and then we'll try it. <laughs> I'm gonna do one slice and put it to three sub slices. No, we can just put like three, okay. three thin slices. Maybe we want to try our fruit slices while they're cutting. Yeah. Cutting the cake. Sure. Go for it. <clears throat> Ooh. They're softer inside than I thought they would be. All right. Yeah. I'm happy. This is one of my my favorite <laughs> as of desserts. I like the red ones the best. So yeah. I'm happy so with this. <laughs> yeah, sure. Mm. Oh. Drier than the desert we wandered through <laughs> for 40 years, but the flavor is good. Actually, it's pretty good as far as it's not overly sweet and it's fairly light. Good lemon flavor. I think it is pretty sweet. It's a little on the dry side. All right, should we go to the next one? Yeah. All right. Marshmallow twists. You guys have those? Um, so instead of marshmallow twists, I got us um, marshmallow puffs from the same brand, Joyva. All right, same brand. We'll let yeah, it and another marshmallow product, but slightly different shape, I guess. Zero. Zero. No. I don't know. Oh my gosh. Okay. I think we're gonna blow All right. Yeah. I'm not mm -hmm. too worried about it. Just... Yeah. These are pretty good, I think. These remind me of a lot of Easter candy. Like whenever you have a chocolate covered mm -hmm. Easter candy as well. So yeah. It's exactly like the monster of the Ghostbusters fight in the last in the first movie. <laughs> mm. Too creamy. These are like a uh, whip it stuff. Not a fan. Oh yeah, I like the creaminess. Yeah, creaminess works for me. Yeah, good chocolate. It's almost, it's almost yeah. not a marshmallow. It's almost like eating like cream instead of chocolate. <laughs> yeah, I'd agree. I am not a fan. A little goopy. <laughs> Much too yeah. goopy for me. Mm. I like these the most. Surprise. All right, how about the gel rings? All right, we got those, I think. Yeah, we have these exact ones. Good. Each Whoa. One's <laughs> Whoa, I broke it open first, <laughs> just to see. I think they come in two. 
two colors too. Um, That's cool. I, think, I didn't imagine that. <laughs> Red and orange, but I think different boxes. Hmm. Oh wow, it really tastes like Jello inside. <laughs> Jello, that's a good thing. I don't know about this one. I guess. I feel it's like the flavor inside is like so artificial. I almost feel like it tastes like like flavored medication that you would give to like a child. The color looks bad. <laughs> I can see the flavored medication. Uh, yeah, I get that. It's like that weird cough medicine taste. Yeah. Kind of, I, I agree. Chocolate's Weird. good though. It's but unexpected, but I liked it. <laughs> um, rubber tuts and rings. Rubber tuts and rings. <laughs> yeah. Oh, kind of weirdly nostalgic though, but not something I would choose to eat. It's just like another vessel for my Jello <laughs> with some chocolate. I think I would have stuck to just the chocolate next time. <laughs> All right sponge loaf you guys have that one so instead of sponge loaf i found another coach for passover cake like thing um right. we have um from yehuda chocolate flavored cake okay the cake it's always so interesting to me about like push for Passover cake is it's like no leaven flour, no leavening really. So it still looks so squishy. Sure. Right. Oh, you so. Yeah. Sasha's a lefty, everybody. So am I. Oh. So far. Yep. The chocolate flavor on this is really good. Almost tastes more like a light brownie, like mm -hmm. a fluffier brownie. Yeah, I'm like, actually, like, it's not too sweet. And I really like that. Like, it yeah. tastes like it would be really good with, like, cup of coffee or a cup of tea or something mm. well i know why they call this sponge cake because it tastes kind of like a sponge <laughs> not that they eat sponges that often but yeah this is this is dry mm. i think it's good it's a little eggy it's a little dry huh? eating a piece of bread yeah yeah i think it doesn't throw me as, as much as i thought it would but yeah, it's a little, it's a little bland. Sounds Stuff like more. our Yehuda chocolate cake is the winner here. If uh... yeah. <laughs> I wish I had some of that. Right, There's some it, there. Keep it going. Seven layer cake. This was oh, the predicted brother. all time. This was the predicted favorite. Which one are we doing next? Seven yeah, layer seven cake. Layer cake. Oh. oh, instead of this, um, instead of another cake thing, I have um, the, uh, the mandel crust for us from Manischewitz. Oh, nice. Even, even looking at that, it looks dry. Feels like a biscotti. Yeah, it's supposed to be pretty similar to biscotti. Be another good one to have with tea. Nice tea treat. Yeah. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> this good. This cake is really good. This is good. Mm. Wow. A little <laughs> bit of texture, but actually moist and actually good flavor. Yeah. Queen Elizabeth were to convert, I could imagine her eating a lot of these. 
this is definitely like it is somewhat dry but i think it's like in line because it looks like it's supposed to be dry like a dryish cookie so it's kind of in line with expectations i agree with lindsay like this would be good with like a cup of tea all right um chocolate macaroons next on the menu Yeah. yeah. We got both chocolate macaroons and coconut as well. But ours are both from Anishevitz. All right. Oh, yeah. Feel free to take. These are chocolate macaroons. Mm, that's a macaron. Oh, I like that one. Actually. Yeah, that's not bad. Honestly, it mostly just tastes like coconut, but yeah. it tastes yeah. a little chocolate. Not a strong chocolate flavor. Not a strong enough chocolate flavor at all. Agree. I never like the macaroons are always my least favorite. They're just like, I'm not a huge fan of coconut and they're mm. so like dry. Yeah. A little soggy. <laughs> Yeah, one word review. Eh. <laughs> I think that sums up the, the Passover macaroons for sure. Right. Off from that one now. The nice grand coconut finale. macaroons. Very, very classic coconut macaroon. Oh, good color on these. Yeah, you've got a pretty color as well. Yeah, these are less soggy yeah. than the, the chocolates. So which brands are yours? So I know one of them's from Manischewitz and one of them's from Goodman chocolate. We got classic Manischewitz, mm. which these are much better than the chocolate ones in my opinion. Yeah, these are pretty good. So not enough flavor. And it still has oh, that like, name. finish. I'm probably biased because I love coconut, but I would eat a bunch of these. You should do it right now. <laughs> we have this a ton. Is, this is um, grandma cast ever personified. Yeah, I agree with that. This is like you can't get more classic than the yeah. than the Manischewitz coconut mm -hmm. macaroon. Mm. I think it's better than the chocolate one, but again, I'm not a huge fan of coconut, so I would probably stick to the jelly slices. <laughs> All right. So, what are our final? What are our favorites? It's hard to rank eight of mm -hmm. our favorites. The layer cake. Yeah, the seven layer cake. I thought the the lemon roll was pretty good. I would, yeah. I'm gonna go with these coconut marshmallows over here. First one, which I did not expect. Yeah. I think it would be really easy to eat a lot of those too. So I, <laughs> I'd say I'd say all the coconut treats are are a win in my book. I really liked the chocolate cake we had though too. Yeah. I really like the the um the chocolate the sorry the marshmallow puffs. Um, I thought the chocolate cake. I was surprised. It's like it's like a nice balance of um not too sweet and chocolate flavor. Um, Jesse and Lil Nico, what were your favorites? The chocolate oh, the marshmallows, for sure. Yeah, the jelly ring. The um, uh, what was it? The 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 multicolor things. The half slices. Oh, the the uh, the jelly slices. Yeah, those weren't bad. The fruit slices. I think we have our final rankings then, right there. What what about the worst? <laughs> jelly rings. The worst is Chocolate everything covered. else, in my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I think the coconut ring. <laughs> Yeah, let me get Do we want the pictures? jelly rings? In my opinion, were kind of the worst. They have the, like that really artificial flavor. Um, and I don't like macarons very much, but I also know that's like kind of just a personal thing of mine that I'm not a huge fan of coconut. For whatever reason, just because I thought they were interesting, I didn't hate the jelly rings as much. <laughs> but um, like, if I had to pick, just 
I feel like the the chocolate covered marshmallow things, even though they were good, like they just aren't what I gravitate towards in the store. Usually I usually go for more of like a solid chocolate or something like the the marshmallows on their own. Mm. So I'd say maybe those, but they're mm. still good. Yeah. Definitely think it sounds like the uh, the jelly rings were the most controversial. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of mixed opinions on the jelly rings. Robitussin rings. <laughs> Deal. After eating all this dessert. Oh. Okay. So Nap- yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is going to be a lot of napping in the uh, newsrooms uh, this <laughs> afternoon? I think so. I think mm-hmm. a warm cup of milk or tea and then a nap. Do you have a lot of tea drinkers? I drink tea. <laughs> drink tea. So do I when I can. Okay. Well, thanks guys for being a part of our uh, Passover dessert taste test. It's, you know. Mm-hmm. Thanks for giving us desserts. <laughs> yeah, thanks. We should do at one point a pickle taste, not for Passover, but yeah, a pickle tasting. Oh, I would love that. Oh, yeah. Pickles. Yeah, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Less, right. less caloric intake to worry about there. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. See ya. Bye, everyone.